What's good, you guys? Oh, it's been a long time since I've wanted to say that. Hello! Um, Whimsical Wisp, back here with a special treat. Uh, thank you so much, developers, for giving me an early access key. I backed it on Kickstarter, but then they were asking for volunteers on Twitter for people to try things. I'm glad I blocked that. Um... Anyway, for spells and secrets, and as you can see, as a spellcaster myself, very much enjoy the concept. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and I uh, it I have a controller. You need to connect two control. Oh, so that's for local call. Okay. So they have local co-op. The graphics are beautiful. I hope everything comes through right. This is, like I said, this is my first time recording in a while. I was just so happy that the developers decided to give me a key. Oh, hello. Good evening. You must be Wisp. Welcome to the Academy of Griffenstein. My name is Professor Amanda Ventura. And I'm in charge of new arrivals such as yourself. Changing words already. You are late, but don't worry. I used to be late all the time. <laughs> it is with great joy that I introduce you to our proud Griffin. This is Merlin. Merlin? Venerable protector of the Academy and the beating heart of Griffinstein. He has watched over our school for centuries and is always there when it is called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you can even pet him. So wait, is there... There is no walking speed. Okay. That's probably the appropriate response. I was afraid of that. Don't worry, Merlene is always skeptical of newcomers at first. Once the two of you get to know each other a little better, you will become more trusting. Oh, it is getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living quarters. I'll see you tomorrow. Or, I could just... I already want to play chess with someone now. <laughs> I, I want to... I'm gonna explore just a little bit. Um, the main focus of this video is going to be to show off the game's main features, and I'm already loving the fact, I'm assuming these are just test dummies. Um, I'm already loving the fact that it seems like main courtyard is just mini game central. Which I'm assuming can be enhanced with spells, which we don't have yet. I'll try and get through the tutorial as fast as possible, though, because I know I have a tendency to drag things on and on. Worst case scenario, if anything takes too long, my editor will help by just speeding it up. What would have happened if I just went around? I should have just gone around. I didn't think about it. Excuse me. I will say, the fact that the dorm rooms are connected makes me kind of worried. Balcony. Let's get a move on. Oh. Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. No reason to worry, the castle's defenses are work like a charm. Nevertheless, I have to ask you all to report to the secure schoolyard immediately. Your teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard.
chapter one sorcery for beginners i like how we enter the academy it's just like yeah here's sorcery for beginners telekinesis is a simple but very versatile spell this spell allows you to move a target by sheer willpower without even touching it make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target maintain the spell and imagine yourself moving the target instead of your body like an extension of your own <laughs> Oh, I can already, hold on, I, yeah, yeah, I can already see where this is going to be a problem on controller, but we can try, actually, no, I want to, yeah, I like how it's like, no, you can't go that way, but, yeah, let's switch over to this. oh, hey, Wisp, glad to see you are well. The whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures, causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see those main doors? They close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are present in the area. Oh, well, that's fun. How'd you get in here, then? <laughs> they will only open once all intruders have been defeated and the area has been secured. Oh, I'm being summoned. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard. So you have to fend for yourself. Are you familiar with the magic missile yet? Best spell. <laughs> it's very simple. Stay focused on your target and think about how much you want to get rid of it. <laughs> I really need to get going now. I'll see you in the schoolyard. Again, the fact that she just... Okay. Does it... It... That is extremely generous. I wonder how much, so hold on. So telekinesis, it looks like utility spells. No, they do. There's gonna be an emotional support plant. If it'll, oh, come on, we got work to do. Oh, and so now we're... Okay. And then... Okay, it does break concentration as well. Very basic stuff. No problem for me, of course. I like the fact that I'm just gonna mess up this person's room. <laughs> Like, yeah. Uh... Oh, this is. Oh, okay. I get, I get it. It doesn't, it doesn't want me <laughs> in that one guy's room, which is weird because the rooms are connected. So telekinesis can be used on enemies. And you could also charge up spells, which is good to know. I like... Maybe I'm just being rude, but when it comes to 3D games, I always find it funny. Look at his legs. Like, they break. Which is not... It's not a problem. It's just I find it funny. Uh-oh. Who the heck are you? Lost schoolmate. <gasps> you there! Good thing you're here. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me forgot to bring along my wand. <laughs> Without it, I regrettably can't do anything against the armadillo. But surely you can help me out here. You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it rolled up against the wall. Armadillos show their vulnerable- Yeah, basic video game practice, alright. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that'll be a piece of cake. Watch out! It's waking up! Oh. Am I gonna- I can't- I can't throw him into the wall, I guess. Wow, he tanky. He's gonna become a normal enemy later, watch. I'm very low on mana. It seems like spamming is better than charging. <laughs> Maybe that'll change when the mana comes in, though. 
Excellent, I knew you could do it. Just like this armadillo, each creature has a certain weak spot. Find these and exploit them to make them vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use your spells creatively and observe carefully how beings react to them. This way, sooner or later, you'll find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I can see your name already, though. I am Robin Peters, second year, and you somehow forgot your wand. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me. And he's the worst character now. <laughs> Always looking to solve tricky cases. What do you think? Should we work together to figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective eye, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. I'll go back to the schoolyard and get myself to safety. Meet me there and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding this attack on our school. I'm just telling you, my repertoire of voices is like four, by the way. Like of actual voices. I can, I can do a lot of noises. That way it's cleverly blocked off. Tutorial area. Let me. I, I. Maybe this is just me, but the walking speed in this game is both good and bad. Hmm. Uh. Hi, professor. <laughs> Where are you here? Oh. <laughs> Hello, you must be one of this year's newcomers. Let me introduce myself. Dr. Theodore Octavius Pott, supervisory teacher for first year students. You may skip the doctor if you like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. Haha. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Theodore. Evidently, there is another one of these nasty creatures in the area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such a jury, so how about a new spell? Take your pick. Oh no. I'm already like, mm. I'm sure I'm sure we'll get all the spells eventually. I, I think I'm I'm comfortable in the fact that if I just levitate things, they're just gonna they're just gonna they're gonna be out. Splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you were carrying them. There's a hidden room next door with such an artifact. Your students think it is a secret. But what you might not know is that I hid it there in my own student days. Haha! -ha. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. Be that as it may, the artifact is in this room will modify your new spell. This will make your fight with the intruder a breeze. However, the entrance to the secret room is locked behind a riddle, so you'll have to use your wits to find your way in. I changed his voice from old man to, like, random guy. I'll give you one last tip before... I have to take my leave. Follow the lights and you will be enlightened. Oh, I can already see the physics. I am very much going to enjoy these. No, I want I want the light. Just follow the light. Well, this light's blue for some reason. Oh, it's a time thing. Okay. Hello. Vertigo inducer. Levitate interrupts confu- <laughs> You just- you just in a duel with someone and you're just like, goodbye. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? That's it. I have a feeling maybe it's just me. Don't get me wrong. I like the design of the game and the tutorial is doing a great job at like explaining the basics, but I would have had like a different, maybe it would have been, I don't know. Cause obviously first time playing, Oh, we have hearts now. Defensive table. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. Excellent. My teleport traps are working. Everything is going according to plan. That is the button. Well, what have we here, lost little hatchling? You must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad your old griffin patriot isn't here to protect you. Prepare for your end. Wow, really? Alright. Well, oh. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to win this. Okay, well. Hmm. I own defensive tables used against me. Uh oh. Oh, I get it. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so. Oh. I. Okay. You stay over there. Whoa. Ah! Stun! Okay. <laughs> Maybe this guy is a little out of my league. Okay, red stuns. Ow. I think I've hurt myself more than he has hurt me. Are you? Ah, stun. Go. Okay. Ah, nope. Nope. <laughs> arrogance? I didn't have arrogance. <laughs> I defended myself. That's what your arrogance gets you. It is really quite pathetic what has become of this school. I literally got here today, dude. I hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. Ugh. I lost my spell thing. I probably could have beat him. I'm just really bad at timing things. <coughs> You're the real deal, Wisp. What a cool entrance. Thanks again for saving me from that rampaging armadillo. Whatever's going around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this case together. I have a feeling you're going to be the most annoying character. <laughs> Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? Should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. Get back to me when you discover something new. But before you follow that good instinct of yours, you should talk to Professor Ventura. I have no spells now. Which is weird. I thought the whole point, like, because this will be really easy with, like, the levitate thing. But without it, it's near impossible. <sighs> good to see you again, Wisp. Our little detective is right. Your entrance was truly impressive. However, I don't think Robin understood its significance. You need to know one thing. You only stand before me now because Merlin gave you one of his almighty, fe his mighty feathers. Hmm. Whatever you encountered in that castle wanted your demise, and Merlin's feather prevented the worst. It all began tonight with that strange explosion in the spires. Since then, Merlin and the principal have disappeared without a trace. I hope they are both well. I never thought I would see the magic of a griffin feather myself. It is said that a griffin feather carries its owner to safety when they're in mortal danger. That guy did nothing mortal of any sort. Merlin seems to have suspected something even before tonight's incident occurred. You should keep this secret to yourself. There are people in this world who would do terrible things to obtain the power of a griffin feather. However, there is one advantage to this whole predicament. You are now free to explore the castle without us having to fear for your safety. Huh! It's like, yeah, you can basically respawn now, so go do all of our dirty work for us. <laughs> Nevertheless, prepare yourself well. After all, you have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot and learn a new spell. Is waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. This, I, I like how this game is like, oh, Magic Academy, and it's like, smartphone. 
Ho oh, ho! Hello, Wisp. Nice to see you are in one piece. It seems that last spell I showed you was quite useful. It was, but I, I wasn't great at it. I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. Levitate 2. Okay. Um. As cool as Jostle is, I still think Mouse Form is cooler. <laughs> also, I'd like to be able to use my spells here. Excellent, Wisp. I see you and Dr. Pot are getting along very well. I think his name's Theodore. <laughs> Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you've gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your spells. For example, I can teach you enhanced forms of telekinesis and magic missile. Are you going to let me fire three projectiles at once? Because, yes, please. The Griffin's effigies in the center of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats, such as health or mana, which I've always found weird that video games call out. Like, mana, I get it, but health? Like, vitality or something. You now explore the other areas that border the schoolyard, the atrium and the promenade. I love the word promenade. <laughs> there you will find more schoolmates, magical devices, and access to different student factions. Oh no. Who are we going to start a faction war with? <laughs> Let's do it. Nope. First thing I want to do is I want to start a faction war. Let's start a war. Who's the with me? <laughs> Would you mind keeping an eye out for lost schoolmates inside the castle? Lost schoolmates? There must be some who are still trapped in the different parts of the castle. So is the castle, like, off-limits? Like, is it... Is it broken? I, I don't... I don't generally understand the significance of this. I'm sure that if you rescue them and later visit them in the schoolyard, they will gladly share valuable experience with you. What I'm hearing is, I save people, I get new spells. One last thing. Don't be surprised if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter. <gasps> it's a roguelike! <laughs> Magical defense mechanism ensures that the areas are constantly rearranged, resulting in a crazy maze. I understand that for a school in general. Why would you do that for dorms? <laughs> Have fun in the castle. Can I, can I cast? I can cast spells now. All right, I'm ready to play chess. I'll do that and see if anyone knows. Okay, so we have spell organizer, magic map, award case, collector's guide. All right, hint. Ugh. Oh, it's you, Wisp. Well, there's one upside to this whole affair: no exams. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you something else. You can enable local co-op. Oh my gosh. Get, get out. Get. No. If I could hit you, I would. <laughs> it's only fair that we, we change it. There's Robin. I see a quest board system. Hi, Wisp. How are you? I was so excited about the new school year. I know this. Shh. I have a secret for you. If you lose all your health, you will... Oh my gosh. If you're defeated, your run will fit. Yeah, your run. Okay. So, it's a roguelike. It's a wizarding roguelike. I'm already happy. This, I'm assuming, is just for... Yep. I honestly probably should have done a better job. Any game with pots, you have to break them. The rules. <sighs> Ugh, another one of the new nobodies. You're lucky you made it out of here. I'm gonna give you some advice. Potions are useful, blah, blah, blah. Literally, I appreciate the fact that they were like, we don't wanna just give them hints, let's make them students. But at the same time, it's like, I wish it was something like, I, I honestly, I'm not a game developer, so I don't know a good way of doing it, but I wish there was something else. I'm new here too, maybe we can hang out sometime. How about a helpful hint? Always stay in motion during combat. Speaking of which, didn't we get mouse? How long does this last? Is this permanent? Oh, this is way faster. Haha. 
I like how I said I wouldn't be exploring, and yet I'm just like, nah, I don't need to do this. Uh oh. Greetings, Wisp. I have heard of you. I am Alfred, leader of the Fireblades. We are distinguished by our boldness and our quest to better ourselves. We measure our wizarding talents and duels, constantly learning from each other. The Great Hall behind me is our headquarters, but I'm afraid I can't let you in so easily. You must prove your skills into and use our faction spell. Learn all fourth years. Okay, so to be in a thing, you have to be fourth years. We're just gonna run around real quick. Real nice how you look after me. What? Ugh. Get over yourself. You should rather help someone who actually needs your help. I want to give you some useful advice. Deplete. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's good that it gives you experience for going and talking to them. Just fascinating, all these magical occurrences in the castle. I would love to go inside and explore them. I'll tell you one thing I've learned already. Your smartphone offers a lot of useful features. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. I'm gonna have enough experience. I'm assuming this is the other faction. Hey, Wisp, cool meeting you. I'm l Lean. I can't even. I can't even pronounce it. L Leander. Leander, the leader of the Shine Hunters. Our group loves exploring and collecting. Always on the lookout for new discoveries and artifacts. Behind me is our gallery, but you have to be one of us for me to let you in. If you want to be a real Shine Hunter, I'll show you how to use our faction spell. If you have enough experience, I can teach you. So that's interesting that his take all the second years and his takes all the fourth years, which means I'm where am I don't even know where I am now. <laughs> this is another faction. Hello, you must be Wisp. My name is Valeria. I am responsible for us dream dancers, and we are about fun and creativity. We love trying things out both in life and in magic. Our meeting place is the library behind me, but I can only let our members in. I can't officially make you a dream dancer until you've mastered our faction spell. Once you gain through experience, I can teach it to you. And this is all first years. So I'm actually what I'm actually imagining in my head is that they mean less of factions. And more like different activities. Hi, you're Wisp, aren't you? I'm Noel, the leader of the Green Guards. Our values are friendship and cooperation. But it's much easier when we help each other. The meeting place is the park, but only Green Guards, faction spell. Okay, this is all third years. So we have first years, second years. So we have all them, which is easy. Oh, hey, Wisp. I hope the other students still stuck in the castle are okay. I learned one important thing. Your many schoolmates suck at the castle. Upon being rescued, they'll reward you. The twins see this incident at school as a business. Maybe you can give them a hand. Business opportunity. What is this? Oh, you could just change the daytime anytime you want for free. Well, I don't know if it's for free or if it's free now. Because I'm still technically in the tutorial. Hey, Wisp. Good thing you stopped by. I have a valuable clue for you. Your run progress is saved whenever you enter a new floor in the castle. You can leave the game. Okay. I always stop doing voices the second they mention, like, meta things. When, when they start mentioning meta things, I'm just like, eh. They don't... I don't, I don't need to use voices. Alright. Um. As per usual, I've talked to everyone. Learned all about the factions. Whether or not that'll actually go in the video or we'll just skip to this part. I don't know. But. Actually, I didn't talk to you. Who the heck are you? Hey, Wisp. Thanks for your help. I hope you can save some of the others from the castle. Can I share a hint with you? Your spells all have unique and useful effects. Combine them in creative ways to create powerful synergies. Especially when combined with others. Yeah. Alright. I'm one thing away. Hold on. This is what we call power gaming right here. When we're just like, we could go in there or... I could run around the entire castle, get all the information, and get all the first year spells. You must be Wisp. We're very lucky to be safe here in the schoolyard. Have you heard? 
At least observe your foes. Yeah. All right. Just a bunch of basic things. Do, 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 do. Side note, this is way better than it feels. Now, hold on. So what, what is the... Okay, so it's 2,000 each for those. But more importantly... Level 2, 1,000, 2,000. And then what about... I can get Jostle now. So I now think I have access to all the first, yeah, first year. And that was all before the first run, by the way. Act 1, first day of school complete. You arrived at Griffin and were welcomed by Elder Griffin Merlin, the protector of the living symbol of the school the castle. On your very first night, a powerful explosion rocked the spires. Savage creatures suddenly descended upon the school. But there was no sign of Merlin or the principal. You encountered a mysterious figure and you made your way to safety. With the help of your classmate, you solved the mystery. That's Act 1. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a run. Um, I'm not good at roguelikes. Full disclaimer, straight up. Uh, I like roguelikes, don't get me wrong. I do. But I'm not good at them. That's why I lost the pirate, because it's one of the random buffs every time. What is this? A few artifacts. Jostle. Fully charged Jostle hits all targets around you. Why would... I still find it funny that... There it is. Okay, so it looks like... Oh, hold on. Let me, let me recharge. So if you do, if you do two charges, it's a cone in front of you. If you do quick burst, it's just a slight thing. And if you do full charge, it's a full AOE. All right. Uh, I still think low key favorite spell right now. This. Like I'm not mad that I went for the um, levitate first, but this just seems broken. Where's the other one? Well, this is still here. Book! Teach me something. Free experience. Alright. I'm imagining... Inspect. Old letter with Griffin seal. Open invitation to students and alumni. Griffinstein's patron Merlin turns 777. The celebrations will take place on the central courtyard. Wonder when that was. Fortunately, I can't really cast any spells like this, but I feel like that's a balancing thing. And then, yeah, the reason he was here is to explain this. Need a hundred. Oh, there's a thing here. Hold on. Hey, how you doing? Simple up. Yeah, you don't fool me. Oh. Written warning. Name Anton. Anton. Why is it always an Anton? Anton is like an unlucky name. Anton Goldfricks. <laughs> Goldfricks. Transgression. Unauthorized resale of potions from potion vending machine. Oh, so actually I want to find Anton. Because if these are 100 gold and he's reselling at 50, like, yes please. Actually, oh, well, that's cool. Wrong spell. Very tanky. Very tanky. But at least I know he has a certain range that he can't extend past if he's in the air, that is. There we go. Ah! I thought that was experience. Oh, I mean, I guess to some extent it was. Anyway. Now, so, correct me if I'm wrong. I can go out any of these directions. Oh, boy. Ho-ho! 
I am Anton! Hey, you didn't expect to see anyone else wandering around here. I'm Anton Goldfrick, CEO and eager co-founder of Goldfrick Shops and Services. My brother Emil and I have just launched our business and promptly everything starts going terribly wrong. That pesky incident at school has thrown quite a spanner in the works for us. All of our inventory and savings has been scattered around the castle in the commotion. So if you find any golden troves and lucky bags, then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. Haha! -ha. I can offer you a few leftovers until we have rebuilt our supplies. If you help us rebuild, you should talk to Emil in the schoolyard. I'll let him know you're there to meet him. So why would I buy this when 100 gold is what I take the other thing? The artifact or the heart, the heart would probably be good. Gmail unlocked. Meet him during a run. Okay. So, what are, one of the things I do find quite interesting about the game... Uh, I do like the game. So far. I haven't played much of it, but I do... I, I am enjoying it. Um... So, this is a dead end. So, if I would have just kept walking forward, like, logistically, if I just walked that way, I probably wouldn't have run into him. At all. Oh. Can I even... Stay back. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things. Okay. He's done. Actually, if I, I think there's, oh. Something tells me I don't want to step in that. No, nope, wrong one. So wrong. Down. Excellent. All right. This must be the lucky bag. Forty one. Looks like gold nuggets. Um, ooh, that looks important. <laughs> Even on hot summer days, please do not freeze the other students or body parts. Danger of death. Oh, well, that's certainly interesting. I'm ready. Let's do it. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Hmm. Let me explore the other options. So, I'm curious to see if... Um, first of all, I'm curious to see if that's the same boss fight or not. But also, I'm curious to see... I'm assuming that's how the run ends. I can't look, it's my room. Okay. Well, that was weirdly easy. I go around. Did they just? They just? Okay. Mm. All right. Anything special in here? Not that I'm seeing. That doesn't look ominous at all. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to... Wait, this says there's treasure here somewhere. I want to lift the suitcase up. Any blue lights? No, but there's a poster. Do you prefer to be enchanted by others instead of putting them under your spell? Our career guidance will find your talent beyond mere magic. Cool. That's not what I wanted. I... no. Wrong spell. I 
care. They don't have any... I will say this, uh, unlike other games, this game, uh, six hit system feels better. I don't like games that have very limited health pools usually. This is not a good time for me. Mainly because I'm bad, and I admit that I'm bad. Alright, I think that's everything. Um... Gillian Gray celebrates a special anniversary. She's been the principal of the Academy of Griffenstein for 40 years. Read about her career in our feature story. Okay, so... I can't go up that way. So, no, it'd be golden. It'd be golden. Uh, I like the use of colors. I like the art style. It's really cool. This looks... Jeez. Awesome, but we're at a dead end. So, <clears throat> I need 100 gold, which I don't have. Um, wait. Interesting. Okay. So, no, I didn't mean to. Here. Ha! Huh. I love Slice of Cheese. <laughs> well equipped. Acquire two artifacts during a run. Alright. So I'm assuming the end goal will be to find that weird, um... So it seems like fire slimes are just the best, like, friend. you got for me there's still something here I can tell by the music All right. so there's a way up although I wouldn't be surprised if this ends in another dead end okay so there's a poison guy in here Uh, developers, if you ever see this, uh, you guys added the best thing, uh, in the mouse. The mouse, the mouse is clearly the best thing. Here, you're, you're gonna come with me. Why? Because I said so. Okay. Oh! Oh! Genius! Genius idea. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. So hold on. Burn. <laughs> Does this feel like cheese? Only a little bit. <laughs> when in doubt, fire it out. Um, interestingly enough, you can draw. So, little thing I don't like about this, the, um, actually, can I? Oh, it's... That work out. Oh, you're a threat. You're a threat. No, 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 you're, you gotta, you gotta get burned. Oh. I'm just gonna let him burn. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't even nearly as much. I saw the circle and I was like, oh no, it's gonna be another one of those fights. It's like no. It's just a bunch of little things. What does that do? Band card temporarily gives you atch out oh boy. <laughs> ah Wait. 
Is this thing? Okay. So that, in particular, does not like getting hit. And I lost my health for that. I only have 91 gold. I can't even buy a heart if I wanted to. In 1546, I failed summoning ritual led to the academy adopting powerful defensive spells. In case of danger, the affected area is magically sealed. It is eliminated. Interesting. Yet, teachers seem to be able to teleport wherever they feel like it. I have a feeling I'm about to lose this fight. <laughs> Due to that missing heart. But I don't have enough gold to fix it. Alright, round two, electrical boogaloo. Let's do this. Main thing I have to remember, protective ward, don't attack him. Oh, it's a different person. Ignatia the Fervent? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is it for you. Believe me, things are getting too hot for you. If you want to stop the crown, you will get your fingers burnt? So my enemy is called the crown, they all wear masks, and they all look fancy, so they're probably rich. <laughs> okay. Oh shoot. That was close. Okay. Yeah, I think that last guy was probably supposed to win. Like, if you were good at the game and you were skilled, you probably could have beat him. Oh, you can just... Well, you're dumb. That's, that's kind of dumb, don't you think? Like, you... For you to... I can just put you over your own fire and you're just gonna take damage. Like, what? No, you, you can stay in the fire. Again, fire seems to be the answer in a lot of cases. Oh, stage two? Uh oh, oh. Uh, again, lady, you were standing in your own fire that time. Yeah. No, I wasn't ready for the other guy, but I've learned a lot of spells since then. And I'm using none of them. <laughs> Magic missile, fire. Oh gosh. So I have a feeling that, um, as cool as this game is already, and I, I do enjoy this game, um, I, I have a feeling this, like, magic missile spell is, like, going to be the basis for 9 times out of 10 combat. You're nowhere near as powerful as the first guy. Oh, is this the first guy? No, it's just her. <sighs> Damn, it's getting too hot in here. You're really sticky, sticking with it, aren't you? You still can't do a thing to stop the crown. Again, you say too much. Like, you say way too much. Wait, floor? Wait, wait, wait. Are there floors? Don't tell me they're floors. Classrooms. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, hello. I am Mistress St Satori. If you're looking for the principal, it seems she has ventured deeper into the academy to put a stop to this chaos. I'm sure she would appreciate your help. The intruders seem to become more dangerous than, fur than the further you advance into the academy. Just watch your back in there. I will now return to the schoolyard. Meet me at the outer promenade if you wish to learn new spells. I wonder if you're going to teach me, like... Reach the second floor during a run. Crooked wand. Transforming the mount will temporarily transform the nearest entity into a tiny mouse. Uh oh. These things are. So I want a plushie of this. Like, I, I, I actively want a plushie of this. Look at it. 
Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, that... I... Mm, I can see why it was here now. Mm. Hey, dragon. Oh, hell. Okay! Oh. Maybe if I can just... Burn. Oh! I'm glad that thing didn't hit me with a fireball. What does this say? The blurb reveals. Mr. Satori and Dr. Theodore Opot discuss the various methods of divination. The impressive research results are topped off with a little bet. Who can more accurately predict the sales of this book? That's not what I wanted. First of all, that throwing distance is quite immaculate. Second of all, no matter what I do, the plots reform, but not where they originally were. Oh, I call bull. That's... that's a spell. There's gotta be a spell to break that. Another thing I'm a little bit curious on, and I actually want to check real quick because we haven't checked it. Hmm. Okay, so it tells you what you're holding to modify it, which is good. Complete story act three. Collector's guide, first year spells. Okay, so without without spoiling anything, the junior spells are the ones that everyone knows, which makes sense. First year spells, basic, we already have them. Uh, tier 2 has 3. It looks like every tier has 3 except for this tier, which has 4. Which is weird because this seems to be the final tier. Interesting. Um, and there's student factions you have different reputations in, but you definitely can join all of them. Which is fine by me. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm debating on how to handle this now. I mean, I guess we just keep going until our run ends, which will inevitably end, not necessarily sooner rather than later, but will inevitably end. Wait, hold on. Uh, levitate. Into the dragon. <laughs> yeah, those things are not going to have effect on anyone. I see this thing inhabits a, a thing. Oh, hell no. Okay. Again, what is it with the magic pots here? Like... Like, I see there's a thing there. There's no question mark here, though, so there's nothing here. And I already know what the question mark is in the other area. If I had a fire spell, I could probably light that banister. It needs fire of some kind. I I definitely see the appeal of... Uh-oh. Hey, 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 love it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, shoot the home. He doesn't hit his friend. Okay. Then you're gonna have to give me a second while I just pop you first, because you're scary! Stop it! I'm out of magic. I think mana is gonna be one of the biggest things for me. And it looks like... I don't want to call it out too soon, but it looks like the, um... It heals you when you beat the boss. Which makes sense. I don't know why that would surprise anyone. But, so, it heals you when you finish the boss. Mouse form, definitely coolest thing in the game. Oh. Please do not climb over the railing. Fall hazard. 
Now you make me want to climb over the railing. I don't think I can. At least not. Again, I, I like how this game seems to have a lot of replayability in the fact that um, you're going to have to backtrack a million times or have the right spells. I'm hoping they let you just hold every spell at once. Because I don't like games where it's like, oh, you can only hold one or two spells. Why is it so... Oh! I'm levitating. I don't know what caused me to levitate. Okay. Okay. Ah! Flip. Okay, he's gone. I don't know how to destroy that thing. Okay, so that thing is just levitation central, I guess. Artifacts and items that alter the spells of the bearer. From joke items to useful, helpful to powerful relics, artifacts come in all shapes and sizes. Whether they are useful, dangerous, or completely useless is up to the user. Basic fight? Basic fight. Okay, we can handle this. Let me get ready with levitate just in case. Yep, I was right. <laughs> no, I'm good. You're... Oh! Easy mode. What do we got? Friendship bracelet. Telekinesis for a long time can also tame tame and animate its target after. What? You're telling me my telekinesis can tame people? Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, so it teams them temporarily. But the taming thing is really cool. Oh, ice. <laughs> Wait, I just... That was close. My mouse got outside of my thing real quick. No, you're, you're in the right spot. You know who's not in the right spot? This thing is in the right spot. Honestly, I have no idea if I'm supposed to move these or not. The oh. Ow. Okay. How did you lose your run? Well, you see, I may or may not have just um, hit myself while moving plants like twice. Undiscovered secret solve two puzzles during a run. I don't know if it mattered which one was which, but hey, I'll take the extra gold. Maybe I can buy back my hearts before I have to get into the next boss fight. I said that first boss fight wasn't exactly like hard. I will say I do appreciate the fact that the boss fight doesn't start when you enter a room. That to me uh, is one of those like annoying things where it's like, oh, you know, I can only. Can you stop? See, you go over there. <laughs> Levitate was the greatest first spell choice, I think. What do we got? When inexperienced magicians learn the art of casting spells, things can get out of hand. 
After the Great Imp Plague of 1874, it was decided to make the Academy a self-governing institution. Since then, it has been up to the school's administration to solve problematic incidents within the school. Okay, so I can go up or I can go left. Left looks like a final destination. We're going to go up. Up is a final destination. We're going to go left. But like I said, like... I feel like that's an important design choice, like depending on what kind of feel you want for your game. This feels a lot more laid back before I rescue you. I can't destroy it, I don't have a fire spell. Hello. Uh, 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 I'm glad you, you came to see me. I'm really tired of playing hide and seek. Seeing the green... See you in the Greenfist Atrium. Well, I rescued someone. Uh, I think the run might end next boss. Oh, would you look who it is. Anton's Assortment. Curing potion. Drink this potion to restore a potion of your health and fully restore your mana. And it refills after eat. Well, that's just cool. And then the health just heals. Okay, never mind. We're gonna be going for about three hours. Okay, so hold on. We shift first. We have our potion is also shift. So there's no way we lose this. Unless I'm just generally that bad. Oh. Another female. Greta the uh, the multifarious. I can no longer tell. Am I human, a foxling, or am I an armadillo after all? Um, you might be part fox, but you're definitely not an armadillo. The prince gives everyone a chance, no matter who or what they are. I'll prove my strength and crush you to earn my rightful place. I'm actually very curious. If you are very good at roguelikes... Because I know a lot of people are. Okay, you summon things. Oh. Okay. So I see. Okay, so her whole thing is it looks like she likes to summon things. Oh. Yeah, but her, she doesn't have, like, fire things, so they don't have, like, contact or anything. I suppose I will have to deal with them sooner rather than later. Unless they don't damage. Do they damage? Oh, no, they go away. I don't even need to focus them. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Potions are immediate. I do like that with the foxes specifically, they, um, you can't tell quite exactly which way they're going to rotate. That was my fault. Especially with this enhanced, like, spell thing, it's better just to spam cast. It's allowing me to activate it faster. almost at stage two. Oh. Ah! Oh, that does two hits. Remarkable Collector. Outstanding Challenger, Remarkable Wizard, Pursuit Medals. So that was a 37 minute run, so this, I can already tell this game is going to be a little bit longer. I mean, this video is definitely going to be long, but this, this game, maybe not for, um, 
challengers, like, ah, schoolmate is hard. I feel like schoolmate is going to be the hardest to earn because, uh, it's RNG, well, it's RNG on whether or not schoolmate or collector is going to be the hardest to learn. Anyway, you have to hold to confirm things, which I also like. Um, overall opinion of the game, uh, I fairly highly like it. Uh, I like the way it plays. It feels, I I'm not going to lie, it feels a little bit more childish. That doesn't make it bad. <laughs> like, if you want something difficult, go play Hades. But if you want something to just turn your brain off to and have a fun time, I think this definitely is a better game. Uh, well, again, Hades is like, we're, we're talking Hades is like top tier. And I own Hades. I'm just bad at Hades. <laughs> I'm bad at most roguelikes. Um, let's walk around real quick and let's talk to the people we need to. Uh, hello, you must be Wisp. Very pleased to meet you. I'm Emil Goldfox, CFO and proud co-founder of Kofox Shops and Services. My brother Anton has already informed me about meeting you in the castle. I'll show you your first options you can help us with. It will now allow you to invest gold in exchange for credit. Just like experience, you will not lose credit when you complete a run. You can upgrade. So, I see no downside to this. I see no downside, uh, other than the fact that I won't have gold if I invest. From now on, you can exchange your gold for credit when you meet Anton in the castle. Return to me, just like normal business. Uh, there's a lot of awards, and I like personally for me, I like it when games give you a lot of rewards for doing new things. So it's like, is it annoying that there are, are I don't know how many achievements there are actually. I, are there achievements yet? There is, and you guys can see this too. I don't need that up. Uh, there's 32 achievements, and it looks like, ba 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 ba. There's only seven hidden ones. I won't spoil them, in case other people care about spoilers. I don't. I'm sure most of them are probably story based, but it also has the like award case, which these are essential. Oh, these are essential because... Well, I don't know why this one's essential. Or no, you need it to... It says you need that to use credit to purchase your first castle upgrade. So, if you want to upgrade the castle. This is all co-op. Earn. Yeah. So, I mean, like I said, uh, if I were to just give this a quick rating... Uh, which, honestly, I don't know if you want to call that authentic or non-authentic. Be that who, depending on who you are. Uh, I would say it's a solid... Just from first impressions alone. Uh, with the art style, the gameplay, the everything. I'm going to put it at a solid, like, 9 out of 10. Uh, maybe 8 out of 10, I guess. Because... And, and the reason... The reason 8 out of 10 instead of 9 out, or 9 out of 10 is because it really depends on where the story progresses, right? And where it goes from here. Like, everything right now, I really enjoy. Uh, the story right now, I'm not too connected with it. Um, because it's like, you have this all-powerful griffin, and it's gone. And it, But it gives you the ability to respawn, which I think is really interesting. Which, it, it makes it have sense. Wisp, I knew you were doing fine. I'm sure you'll find many other students in the castle. Let me help you. The central hub has a lot to offer. Use magic mirror to customize your character or the sources to change the time of day. The four student factions have their own areas in the hub. Once you have access, da 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 da. Cool. I like how they reward you for talking to people. I think that's very important to reward people uh, for engaging with your systems. If you're ever, uh, if you're ever gonna have a system in a video game, you should reward people for using it. Nice to meet you. Barely made it back to the schoolyard before the castle was sealed off. Did you know? Spend your earn experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, definitely, the, like I said, because because normally, any person is going to look at this and be like, I don't need hints. These are all really basic gameplay things. But it's like, yeah, but you can, um, you can automatically, like, learn new things. I think I'm going to save up my experience personally um uh, I I don't know magic missile level 2 might be best I didn't go down here yet did I 
No, and the main reason I didn't go over here is because, judging by the thing, it's the landing platform for co-op. Uh, I do see that there's a heavy focus on co-op. Uh, if there's online co-op, that's great. If it's only local, it's a little disappointing. Um, that would probably cause me to... But, but it's not, as far as I know, the co-op isn't necessary. Like, granted, I don't know, um, I also appreciate the little icons down here. Uh, so I can pull up the bit map to see it big, but I don't need to because everything is, like, very intuitive. Like, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's a meal. This means someone's here to talk. This is all the different factions and the wizard for new spells. That is the one I rescued. This is the magic mirror, which I'll check in a second. Hey, Wisp, nice to meet you. It's really nice of you to say, show me the way back there. Did you know Dr. Pot showed me a trick to transplant elemental bushes without hurting yourself? Just let them into the air. Yep. And because you rescued, she gives you a lot. Oh my gosh, she gives you a lot of experience, which is good. Um, it looks like you can customize your character at any time, which is... If I knew I could have worn glasses, I should have put on glasses. I'm going to put these glasses on now. But, so, you can change your character look at any time, which, because it's a magical world, makes sense. It's like, if you're if you're going to have magic, you should be able to do simple things like changing your appearance anytime you need it. Uh, that's for a thing. This is for spells. I want to see about her spells now. Lovely to see you again. Once you have gained enough experience, I will gladly tutor your second year spells. However, you can only study them once you know all the first year spells. This is Dr. Theodore's master. But I have already earned them all. Oh, but now I have enough magic to get magic level 2. But fire, though. Why is freeze utility and fire offensive? I guess it makes sense, but still. It seems like the way they want you to play the game is more based around synergies, which I think is amazing. It's like freeze and then fire. Um, and they they show that off because they have way more utility than they do offensive. Um, I'm going to get more experience anyway. Um, does Bombard say anything about breaking things? Aim and summon a fireball hurled toward a target. Dealing damage in an area. Change the spell. Charge the spell to increase area size and damage. Artifacts. It doesn't say anything specific about breaking things. I'm also curious what happens if I were to change the daytime. I get the achievement for doing it. And it looks better. In my opinion, but that's about it. What is... I've been meaning to ask. What are... You are here. That may be a bug, it looks like. Because it's saying that I'm here and here at the same time. That might be a slight bug, but other than that... Nah. I'm a little torn on whether I want... I think, I think for now I go Magic Missile Level 2. Just because that'll help me longer term. Because I feel like... I don't know, because maybe... What, is, what does it say for Magic Missile? If I go to Magic Missile... It just says Tier 2 Offensive Spell. I'm gonna get it for now. 4,000. Yeesh. Yeah. But, um... I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna record... It's weird. I thought it, had a, it has a question mark on it. Maybe I need to talk to him first. Hold on. So you've met another one. They call themselves the Crown, you say. This is something I've never heard of. But it sounds very suspicious, like a real secret organization. I wonder what they're up to. Maybe we'll find out if you keep investigating the castle. So you've met... There really are more of them. They spoke of their so-called prince. I've never heard of him, but it only makes him sound... He must be their leader. We have to stop him. Oh boy, how exciting. I'm sure... We'll find out more of me and more of these scoundrels. Which, I mean, we're going to run into them every single time. I don't know why there's a question mark here. I honestly thought there'd be side quests for, like, defeating a certain amount of enemies or stuff. There might be. Um, this is only a first impression. The, the game hasn't even fully released yet, so they could honestly just chuck in anything or hide anything. Uh, as for beta sense, I like everything. Um, 
two of the bugs. Yeah, see, it fixed itself now. And it has the green highlight, which is cool. Pursuit tracker. Oh, this is for... Complete force quickly. Okay. And the champion medal. Right. Um, I can assume there's more than, like, ten floors. If I had to guess. I don't know how many floors there are, because I'm not good at the game. Uh, I don't know if the game will have a lot of replayability once you beat the floors. Because for me, I think Hades is a good example of a roguelike where the difficulty is high enough to where actually beating the game feels like you've completed the game. Whereas in this game, I feel like I'll get to the final floor and it'll be like, well, you did it. But now it's like... You know, the main focus is just replaying it and doing it with different spells in different ways and such. Whereas, it's like, Hades, that first real big beating it is a big thing. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. There's one last thing I want to check about the game before I um, completely, you know, I I've given my final thoughts. I really like it. I think it's cool. Yes, this is the most important thing right here. And see, it says Act 2. So, here, here's my thing. I like save states i like having the option to have multiple characters with multiple things because i'm telling you right now the first thing that's going through my head uh is can i go back and like i, I want to create a new character and see if i would have been actually able to beat him or not the first character and see what he would say um for now i'm i'm gonna go ahead and call it though uh if i do that i might just re-upload that I'm not going to cheese it and say, look, guys, I beat it first because I didn't. I'm not good at games like that. Some people are. Uh, if you are excited, there will be a link in the description to the Steam page. Um, I'm not sure yet. My, my editor recommends that I upload it when it releases. I thought I would upload it a day before just to give my, you know, quick thoughts on it. But, um, you know, these are my final thoughts, whether or not they're first or last. Who knows? But final thoughts. Game is good game feels more of the cartoony fun utility side of things if you're looking for a more chilled back experience i think it's probably going to be one of the easier roguelikes that's just from what i've seen i think a lot of the utility can kind of like just stop things like you saw i love well if if i did but you can just levitate things in the air and set them on fire and it just works so it's it's cool like that anyway this has been whimsical wisp and i am going to sign out for now Bye bye